Well, when the remnants of Hurricane Helene stayed off to the east of Cobb County as it passed through Georgia, that spared us the most catastrophic consequences we were expecting from this powerful storm. But still, it was a very active 12 hours for Cobb County's first responders. A good example of that down on Farmington Place, where fire crews inflated their boats and went into the neighborhood to pluck several residents out of their homes that were surrounded by floodwaters down near the Chattahoochee River. Just before that, they were involved in several rescues of drivers who decided mostly in the pre-dawn hours to drive into water covered roads only to find out that was not such a good idea. Fortunately, everyone was rescued and there were no serious injuries. The Emergency Operations Center was active throughout this entire event and coordinating the response to all these particular calls that came in. A largely flooding and tree down problems that were experienced across Cobb County with the fire department heading out to 165 calls across the county. DOT crews dealt with about 100 trees down across roadways and dozens of roads that were flooded out by the extensive rain that came down, probably in excess of 10 inches in some parts of Cobb County throughout this event. The floodwaters will slowly recede now over the next 24 to 48 hours, but will still remain a problem across the county with many of the roads still being closed. And with the wind advisory in effect until 9 o'clock tonight on Friday for Cobb County, trees could still come down in parts of the county. So if you're out and about, use extreme caution and please be safe.